Hey, what's up everyone? This is Weapon X Comics and welcome to the show. Uh, those of you returning will notice some additions and hopefully a smoother, maybe shorter haul video. Uh, if you're a new viewer, I'd like to thank you and well, everyone else for watching. Uh, but before we begin, I'd like to shout out some channels. And afterwards, um, if you're so inclined, please go down into the description, follow their links and give them a sub as well. SGC Comic Collector, Bobby OP from over in Singapore. Atomic Adam, Jack Allen Wayne, Comic Book Fever, Master X, who used to be Master X Splinter. So if you lost his channel, this is where he is now. Kevin, co-host of The Real Short Box Show over at Rumble Spoon, and of course Longshank78. Uh, now before we get started, I have some AOKs from Longshanks to show you, so let's go ahead and do that. So this is a book I got from Longshanks for my birthday. It's an Elephant Man number 30, really hard to find, uh, J. Scott Campbell cover. Um, New Mutants, number eight, first appearance of Surge. Uh, I think I have one of these in my original uh, collection, but I, you know, I'll take another one. Thank you, dude. Also, um, he had some Exiles books he was getting rid of, and I have uh, nearly a full run of the first uh, volume. So uh, I was able to upgrade some books. Uh, here's Exiles number 23, 81, 82, 83, uh, Black Panther number one, so I think from the 2005 series. Uh, Spawn number 27 is a newsstand. Uh, Amazing Spider Man number 157. 119, really happy to have this. Uh, tough book to find. Uh, it's kind of beat, but yeah, I'm so happy to have it. Uh, 125, 128, 173, 192. 193, 198, 231, 232, 254, 255, 257, 260, 264, 266, 268, and 271. Uh, Pretty sad issue. You find out what happens to the uh, wrestler that wrestled uh, Spider-Man in his uh, first appearance. So uh, thanks again, Longshanks, for uh, for all these cool books. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the haul. All right, moving on. Over at this shop, I found some pretty decent dollar books. Uh, first up, we have uh, Witchblade number 75. This is the J Company Evis variant. This was limited to a 500 copy print run. Uh, I also found a Darkness number 10 Evis J Company variant, which was also li limited to a 500 copy print run. Also, we have uh, Marvel Premiere number 16. This is the second appearance of Iron Fist, as well as the first appearance of Lei Kung the Thunder. Uh, this is X Men number 36 from Volume 3, I believe. Uh, this is the first appearance of Gabriel Shepard, an Omega level mutant, so uh, you collect such things, this is definitely one to pick up. This is the Eternals number two, this is the first appearance of the Celestials as well as Ajax. This book is definitely heating up right now. Superman Wonder Woman new 52 combo pack, it's just sealed near mint, that's the only reason I picked it up. Here we have Aspen number three. This is the Wizard World Chicago 2003 exclusive variant. So nothing special, just picked it up for that. Here we have DC Universe number 30. This is a European uh, edition and a J. Scott Campbell cover. Only reason I picked it up. Uh, I believe this, this was also a cover in uh, an American comic book. I just can't recall it at the moment. But the uh, big book is, I was surprised to find this. Superman Wonder Woman New 52 number 5. This is a Pinozian variant. It's a 1 in 25. Uh, this is from the uh, steampunk line they were putting out. <laughs> the, the, that run of variants. Very, very happy to find this book, especially for a dollar. Um, it's crazy hard to find right now. And uh, yeah, this book can... I don't know. It's anywhere from like 70 on the low end to a couple of hundred bucks. So... Um, yeah, I'm really happy to find this. Crazy that I found it for a dollar. I've been to Spiro's Heroes a few times over the last few months, and um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show most of those books now. This was uh, during a 25 cent sale that they had. It was at the tail end of it, but I still feel I found some really cool books. 
This is a Marvel for Many book number one, starring Stanley. Really awesome Stanley cover. Moon Knight number 38. Really tough to find the last issue. Really beat up, but you know, I wasn't gonna leave it there for 25 cents. Adam, Legend of the Blue Marvel, number three. The Torch, number one, a really great Alex Ross cover. Dark Rain, The New Avengers, The Reunion this is the variant. I'm not sure of the ratio, but I wasn't going to leave it there for 25 cents. Captain America, number 34. First appearance of Bucky Barnes as Captain America. Fantastic Four, Annual 2001. And finally, uh, Electra. This is a blank variant of uh, number one from all new Marvel Now. Uh, I just thought it was a really interesting cover and you know, it was in a it was there for 25 cents I wasn't gonna leave it um, so if anybody could tell me who actually did it though I, I was trying to find it myself if anybody knows the artist I'd appreciate that these books I picked up at Spiro's while it was a 50 cent day uh, this is America's best comics the wizard bonus comic book uh, this first appearance of Promethea and uh, Tom Strong Here's Tom Strong number one, the Alex Ross variant. Uh, first full appearance of Tom Strong in his own series. So Tom Strong number two. Found this Doc Savage number one, uh, first appearance of Doc Savage. Uh, the Drywall Oswald Show. Uh, just thought it looked like an interesting cover, so I went ahead and picked it up. This is number one, and also picked up number two and finally uh, for two dollars I picked up this new Avengers virgin variant uh, first cover appearance of Ronin part of an afternoon while I was digging through the 50 cent bin for books for myself I uh, put together quite a few sets for the store at least a short box worth of sets and uh, well when it came time to pay Elliot just let me have these books from uh, the 50 cent stuff so thanks Elliot um, so I didn't actually pay for these. Uh, this is Daredevil number nine. This is the first appearance of Echo. Fantastic Four number 50 or 479, the first in utero appearance of Valeria. This is the New Teen Titans number 26, the first appearance of Terra. This is the New Warriors from 2005 number four. This is the first appearance of Debris. This is X Factor Layla Miller number one. Finally found a clean copy of this. Uh, the first appearance of Ruby Summers. X Men the movie special number one. This is from the this is the Wizards of the Coast variant. Uh, nothing special about it. I just didn't know it. This is New X Men number twenty three. This is uh, the issue where X twenty three joins the X Men as well as the rest of the New Mutants. I was also able to uh, upgrade quite a few of my uh, Exiles issue, uh, run there. So this is Exiles number one, number 39, number 77, 93, 94. This is New Warriors number two, or New Warriors, New Exiles. New Exiles number five, New Exiles number eight. And I also found a couple copies of Cowboy Bebop number three. Uh, I'm on my way to making a, another set. So Longshanks and I ended up at this really small con. And uh, while we're digging through some of the booths, uh, we hear this commotion. We both look up and it's Freddy's 562 and he's in some kind of scuffle with security. Um, we don't know how it started, but I took my phone out and I did manage to get uh, uh, some footage of uh, what was going down. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, 
Um, so all the uh, books here were from the same booth. I got them all for a buck a piece. Uh, this is Stormwatch number four, first appearance at Midnighter and Apollo. The Saga of the Swamp Thing number 25, uh, first cameo of uh, Constantine. New stand. Uh, Pantheon number one, uh, signed by Bill Will the Inker. Cover by cover and story by Bill Willingham. Uh, this was just thrown in. Fantastic Four number two forty four. Uh, Mage number twelve. Uh, this was actually signed by Matt Wagner on the inside. A uh, couple more autographs here. This is the Max number eight. It's uh, signed by Sam Keith and Steve Olive, as well as number seven, Sam Keith, Steve Olive. And number six, this one's kind of tough to see. Uh, there it is. Also, uh, Simon Bisley signed this uh, Grendel Warchild number one, first appearance at Grendel Prime. And he's the cover artist for this book. So, really cool to have that. Uh, Chris Boccolo signed this Ashcan at Gen X number one. And uh, this is one of the books that predates Gen X number one. Or, yeah, this predates Gen X number one. Uh, Gore Shriek number one, pretty tough book to find. Uh, about $15, $20 book in uh, high grade. Incredible Hulk number 331st, uh, Todd McFarlane uh, work on the Hulk. Uh, really hard book to, <laughs> for years for me to find, now I just keep picking them up for a dollar. I also found a 331 while I was at it. Uh, Amazing Heroes 1990 swimsuit special, about a $15 book. Uh, another book I can never find and now I'm starting to pick them up. Infinity Inc. number 34. This is my second copy. Uncanny X-Men 450. First X-23 in an X-Men title. Uh, Realm number 4. First appearance of Dead World is one of the books that Longshanks uh, passed over to me. Detective Comics number 526. Wild Dog number 1. First appearance of Wild Dog. Green Arrow number zero, first appearance of Connor Hawk. Uh, really tough book to find, uh, Pit number 20, uh, the last issue. Punisher number 101. And I was able to find uh, the whole run of this uh, Daredevil story. Uh, it's 227, 228, 229, 230, 231. 232, first nuke, 233, and that's it. Uh, and of course, uh, now that I found one copy, I found another one. Uh, this is Micronauts number eight, first appearance of Captain Universe, and this is a direct edition. Uh, Spider-Man 2099, uh, really tough to find final issue. One of the Longshanks ones, I think. Uh, this is Fantastic Four. Uh, annual 2001, uh, first appearance of Abraxas, and also uh, the Century number one, first appearance of the Century in high grade, and I want to thank Longshanks for passing this over to me. Alright, so at this shop, I think I got there right, right after they put out some new dollar books. Um, so everything here I got for a dollar except for this first book, which I paid cover price for. This is the Amazing Spider-Man number 798 Young Guns variant. Uh, I believe this is the first full appearance of the uh, Red Goblin. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 325 this is where the dollar books start now. Really cool Todd McFarlane cover. Uh, really love this uh, Gerald Perel cover to Amaz or the Mighty Thor number 13. Uh, this is a 1 in 25 and I really love this cover. Uh, I think I'm going to start getting to more, get more into uh, Ger Gerald Perel. Uh, I've got a couple here and they're both great. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number 669, it's got Dan Slott on the cover, this is a 1 in 15 variant. Uh, New Avengers annual number 1, uh, this is a 1 in 26, kind of an odd numbered uh, ratio to half. Also uh, New Avengers number 16, 1 in 26, and uh, number 16, 1 in 52. So again with the odd number ratio books. Really lucky to find this book. Uh, Venom Evolution of an Icon this is a poster book that came in the uh, Marvel Legends line. Uh, this book in this condition, 50 bucks. So, really happy to find that for a dollar. Uh, this is Captain Planet, uh, the final issue, number 12. 
Uh, another great Gerald Perel cover. This is Captain America number six, uh, the variant. And this is a one in 50. So yeah, really, really happy to find this in, uh, in a dollar bin. Uh, always love these cover swipes. Uh, Suicide Squad number one, New 52. I thought that was cool. And then right next to it, I find uh, Suicide Squad number one uh, from the volume one of uh, New 52. This is a speed I went ahead and consolidated a lot of my new off the rack purchases. Um, they're all cover price with the exception of a few here in the beginning, uh, except for this one. This is cover price. This is Old Man Hawkeye number two, second print. Uh, really great Venom cover. I uh, paid $8 for this uh, Young Guns variant to Black Panther number 170. I was completely lost in this story. I didn't know what was going on. Marvel 2 and 1 number 3. I paid 8 bucks for this one. And uh, Damnation number one, um, I paid six for this. Really good first issue for Damnation, but then uh, Damnation two and the Doctor Strange issue, not so good. Uh, Oblivion song number one, I, yeah, don't recall much about the story anymore because it's been so long, but uh, and it, yeah, I, I think I remember enjoying that. Uh, this Spawn number 283, uh, black and white Latina variant. Also the standard cover, and also uh, Matina Virgin variant for 284. Uh, this is Avengers number 682, the Hawkeye variant. That's a Brooks cover. Uh, Moon Girl number 28, first appearance of Omnipotentus. Again, all these are cover price. Damnation number one variant. Um, let's see. I don't remember the ratio on that. Uh, number two. And Doctor Strange issue I was talking about. Uh, Thanos number 16, 17, variant 17. Uh, Amazing Spider Man number 794. I uh, got a run of this whole um, Red Goblin stuff. 796, 797. Unfortunately, I didn't notice that there's a little bit of color rub right there. Um, what are you going to do? I picked it up off the rack, just didn't notice. Uh, 798 and 799, the first full appearance of the Red Goblin. Now, um, funny thing about this book, I didn't notice when I purchased it, but uh, there's a um, an, an error to this book. Um, there's all there's there's color oversaturation on this copy. Um, and I didn't realize it until I got home and started reading it. I don't know if you can see the barcode there. It's really obvious there. But um, yeah, a lot of the colors in this book really oversaturated. It's way too dark. Uh, and uh, from page to page, it changes. Some some pages are, are darker than others. So uh, really cool, really cool thing to have. Uh, I went back to the same store to see if we could find another copy and all the other copies they had looked normal. So, hey, something to look out for. All right, so I went into this shop at Longshanks and this uh, Incredible Hulk set caught my eye. It was uh, 30 bucks, I talked them down to 25, and there's a lot of uh, first appearances and things like that in here, but I'm not gonna mention them just, just to keep things moving. Uh, this thing came out to 74 cents a piece. So, uh, this is uh, Hulk 368, 369, a lot of these are newsstands too. Set 370, 371, 372, 373, 374, 375, 376, 377, uh, 379, 380. Man, that's a, this is a really messed up issue. I won't get into it, but uh, yeah. Uh, 381. 382, 395, 
and 400 so you might be wondering why I pay $25 for this run well it's because I took a look at the side of the packet you know uh, the side of it they were all unbagged, not bagged and boarded and from the edge I could see that they had this book oh! <laughs> Incredible Hulk 377, uh, really hard to find, very rare third print. Check that out. Yep, really happy to own it. So I finally got my copy, and it's uh, beautiful. It's it was uh, one of the best books in the bag. So uh, there were some that were like VG fine copies. This is like a near mint. So, yep, happy to get All that. Right, these next books are from a few different places, and up front we have what I believe are the last of my Spiro's Heroes books. Avengers Infinity War Prelude, number one. This book commands about $20 right now. I bought this way back for a dollar from uh, Spiro's. <clears throat> I also found this Dark Rain Black Panther number one Shuri variant for five bucks. And also this one in 25 Old Man Hawkeye uh, Greg Land variant for $5. Uh, random shop walked into with uh, long shanks. He found two copies of this. He gave me a copy to buy I picked this up for four dollars last issue of the nom Dark Hawk number 38 new look, new look dark Hawk uh, Forbidden Frankenstein number two and number one I picked them up because they looked like they were funny, but it turns out they were just pornography <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, just I like anything with monsters on it uh, Captain Marvel number 14. Oh, so these books were from uh, and Sons. I went with uh, Longshanks and I ended up finding um, a few books. I was kind of disappointed when I left, but turns out uh, this was uh, one of the pluses of driving all the way down there so early. Um, this is the uh, first cameo appearance of Kamala Khan, and what I remember it being was uh, number 17 was a money book, but 14 is a money book now. This book's probably about a $60 book. From what I remembered looking up. So I, I paid $1.50 for this in your mint condition. Uh, Tales to Astonish number 90, first appearance of the Abomination. Missing the back cover, but still I couldn't leave it there for a dollar. Uh, Black Panther number one from the Marvel Knights. Uh, this is the first appearance of Azuri, uh, Black Panther's grandfather. Uh, this is Mockingbird number eight, just a cool cover, a Joel Jones cover. And I believe this might be the last issue in this run. I'm not sure. Uh, new X Men number 23. Uh, first uh, X 23 joining the X Men as well as the rest of the New Mutants. Uh, really cool uh, Black Panther cover. Black Panther number 35 by Dave Wilkins. Uh, it was about $40 at the height of the Black Panther craze. It's died down quite a bit. Fantastic Four number 275. Uh, I believe John Byrne wrote this, and he really stuck it to Stan Lee. The character uh, <laughs> looks exactly like Stan Lee, and uh, kind of go out of their way to stick it to him and embarrass him, and make him look like a real sleaze. So I'm not sure if it was done in jest or if it was actually done to stick it to Stan Lee. Um, either way, I couldn't find any information on it online. If you guys know anything about it, let me know if it was done as a joke or if it was <laughs> there was actually venom in there. Uh, Batman Beyond Unlimited number 18. I paid $1.50 for this one as well. Um, first appearance of Nisa's Batgirl Beyond. And lastly, Longshanks uh, was at this booth, called me over. He'd already talked this guy down to $15 for this book. Superman number 38 from the New 52, uh, 1 in 100 variant for his uh, new appearance of uh, the Solar Flare Power. I finally picked up an Amazing Spider-Man number 252. Uh, I've been wanting this book forever. So, um, finally, finally found a copy for 20 bucks and I'm happy to have it, a new stand copy. Uh, one other book I found at this shop was Stan Lee's Stripperella. Uh, I believe this is a con exclusive variant. And um, <clears throat> the real reason I wanted it was because I saw it, it was signed by Stan Lee. I got this guy for eight bucks. It's also signed by Anthony Wynn, um, but yeah. Uh, there are none on eBay at the moment, but um, last I saw, somebody was asking a couple hundred bucks for it. Um, speaking of eBay, my one eBay win in the last four or five months, maybe, <laughs> is this Deathmate Gold uh, or Deathmate Black Gold variant. First appearance of Gen 13. I paid $12 for this shipped. Uh, 
Now, Moon Knight number 38 didn't take me long to upgrade this book. I paid $3 for this copy. All new X-Men number 3, 1 in 25 variant. I got this for 3 bucks. And at this shop, I paid a buck for all these books. I got quite a few uh, signatures as well. This uh, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 1 is signed by Dan... Um, what was his name? <coughs> Dan Markstein. So you can see that there. And I found this really cool Mr. T and the T-Force, uh, Neil Adams cover, uh, signed by Mr. T. It also comes with this gold card, and, uh, well, take a look. Alright, next up we have Archer and Armstrong, number zero, signed by Jim Shooter, so that's very cool, and also a very good story in here. Uh, Superman, number 189. Uh, Adventures of Superman number 596. This was recalled uh, due to uh, somewhat similarities to the events 9 11. Uh, this 10 grand number one this is a variant. This was signed by J. Michael Straczynski. Uh, decent story. I might actually go out and find these if I could find them in bins. Uh, Magnus Robot Fighter number zero. Uh, really, really tough book to find. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the cards in it. Uh, but it's still a good book to, to have found. And uh, lastly, uh, Magnus Robot Fighter Yearbook Number One, and this one actually uh, signed by Paul Smith. Uh, you might know him from uh, his work on the X-Men. Right, these are all dollar books, with one exception. Um, this is Mr. Miracle Number One. Uh, this is uh, the first appearance of Mr. Miracle. It's actually an upgrade to my copy, so happy, happy to pay a dollar for it. I also found uh, two copies of Power Pack number one, first appearance of the Power Pack. Uh, really, really happy to find this 1 in 100 variant for uh, Secret Warriors, uh, the list, Dark Rain, with uh, Nick Fury. I <clears throat> also found the X Men one with uh, Namor. So, two 1 in 100s for a buck piece. Cannot beat that. That's awesome. Oh, actually, this one was $2. So I guess there's two, there's two exceptions in this thing. Uh, Young Justice number nine. Doctor Strange the Oath is a variant. 1985 number two is the first appearance of the Marquis of Death. Found two copies of this. And also I found number three and four. Now I just need one, five, and six to complete the story. Uh, <clears throat> I found this uh, Hulk number 14 variant, uh, first cover appearance of uh, Red She-Hulk. Uh, I paid $5 for this one. This is uh, Black Panther Dark Reign number one. Got another copy of this. Well, not this uh, variant, but this is J. Scott Campbell uh, variant, her cover. And um, yeah, just uh, cool to have first cover appearance of uh, Shuri as Black Panther. Um, all right, this shop, uh, again, bunch of dollar books. Uh, Deadpool number one, not in the best shape, but I wasn't gonna leave it there for a dollar. Uh, Green Lantern Core number 201, I always love finding these. Uh, first appearance of Kilowog. Uh, I found another copy of Daredevil number 174. Uh, I picked this one up because it's just in such nice shape. It's a near mint copy of Daredevil number 196. Uh, Marvel Age number 12. Um, cameo appearance of the symbiote Spider-Man suit. Uh, Marvel Age number 8. Just a uh, Stan Lee Jim Shooter cover. Uh, Daredevil number 140. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man uh, number, number 8. The super special part of the Planet of the Symbiotes uh, storyline. And finally, uh, Iron Man, The Coming of the Melter variant. Uh, this is the El Capitan Theater uh, Hollywood exclusive edition. It is limited to 3,000 copies, and people are trying to ask, people ask for about 50 bucks for this online. I haven't seen any sales, but um, yeah, there's, there's no cheap copies. All right, uh, we finally reached the end. And uh, well, this is one book I picked up at a shop, this is the only book. I paid $2 for it, ETM Special Edition. Uh, Witchblade number one, Michael Turner cover. 
All right, so I wonder what I saved for the very end, right? All right, uh, the New Mutants no, Annual Number Six. This has a pinup for X Force and it predates X Force Number One. And uh, was it New Mutants ninety or one hundred? Um, this is Fables Number Ninety Nine for my run. Uh, Heroes for Hire Number Ten. It's a Deadpool appearance. Uh, Carnage Number One. It's a cool cover. Got another copy of Superman 189. Uh, happy to find this Magnus Robot Fighter number 57. Longshanks pulled this for me. Uh, has the uh, the the uh, ad on the first page as an error. Uh, Marvel Conference number 19. Ghost Rider number 21. I was happy to find that Annihilation Conquest number five, but only because. Annihilation Conquest number six is right behind it. So for 50 cents, very, very happy to buy that book. Uh, finally have this copy. Uh, yeah, I hadn't had one up until now. So very happy to find this. All right. Uh, so at this shop, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, everything's a dollar book except for this one. I found this TMNT number 30. Uh, you can see it's signed by Kevin Eastman and also remarked. So happy to pay eight bucks for that. Very cool. Uh, kick ass number three, got this for a buck. First appearance of Hit Girl. Kick ass number four, first appearance of Big Daddy. First Hit Girl on the cover. Uh, found this Fear Itself uh, book seven variant. What is this? A, this is a one in 25. Um, this uh, really cool Secret Avengers number 11, uh, Simone Bianchi variant. This might be a one in 15. Yeah, it's a 1 in 15. So I was really happy to find this book. <laughs> Ultimate Fallout uh, variant number 6. So that's not true. I was really happy to find this book. Oh, 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 oh. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Ultimate Fallout. Uh, <laughs> number four variant first appearance of Miles Morales uh, the ultimate spider-man uh, yeah I, I saw the uh, the top of this book as I was going through the uh, the bins and I, I just wouldn't allow myself to believe that this was the actual book that I saw the top of till I pulled it out um, yeah this book easily goes for a couple at least two three hundred bucks right now right <laughs> Uh, and when it came out, I remember seeing it for 20 bucks and I didn't buy it, but hey, paid a buck for it. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul um, and uh, the changes that I've made and hopefully uh, they keep or, uh, you know, we'll see. So just give me your feedback. Let me know what you guys think. And hopefully I was able to shave off a lot of time from this thing because I have just about as many books as I normally have. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.